everybody, Foundation Lips Tutorials back on your screen with a new review slash first impressions. <laughs> hey guys, so today is actually a really, really exciting video because it was recently announced that Nicki Minaj and MAC Cosmetics are teaming up again there Damn it up again. All to create two custom designed nude lipsticks designed by Nicki Minaj. Now, if you have forgotten, MAC and Nicki Minaj teamed up in the past before for Viva Glam, but these two lipsticks have nothing to do with Viva Glam. So when purchasing these two lipsticks, nothing will go to charity. But without any further ado, hence why I'm not wearing lipstick, hence why I'm wearing foundation on my lips. Let me just get this out of the way. People always ask me, girl, why is there foundation on your lips always? I do this because with a little bit of foundation on your lips, lipstick is gonna pop and stay on longer so much better, like you have no idea. If you've never tried it in your life, do it right now. Apply a little bit of foundation, let it dry, apply your lipstick, and one, you will see it lasting longer, two, you will see it looking more brighter and intense, and three, it's just, a better life. <laughs> so here are the two MAC lipsticks that Nicki Minaj created for MAC, designed for MAC. These two lipsticks are part of a collection, but they are the only two with this limited edition, beautiful packaging, if you ask me. So the pink print, which is the lightest of the two, has a soft, baby, pinky, corally, peachy, sort of frost, metallic packaging. Mm -hmm. And when we look at Nikki's nude, the darker of the two, it comes in a beautiful soft copper tone I love. So this collection consists of 24 new and already existing lip glasses and lipsticks. But since these were the only two designed by Nicki Minaj herself, we're gonna be focusing on these two right here because simply they are more special. All right, so let's get down and dirty and let's apply these to the lips. And we're gonna be starting off with the pink print. The pink print is described as a mid-tone creamy pink and it's an amplified finish. When looking at MAC finishes, I feel like the amplifieds are the most pigmented and most creamy and hydrating out of all of them. The mattes also are very pigmented, but they are a little bit more drying. So when you look at the amplifieds, it's basically a lot of color pigment, a lot of hydration and just creaminess. So this by no means is like a liquid lipstick where it stays on all day long. This is a lipstick that you reapply throughout the day. All right, I am ready for you. <laughs> so the pink print, mid-tone, creamy pink, let's go. Oh, hello, pigmentation. Oh my God, these apply like butter. Wow, that applied so softly, but so pigmented. And one thing I'm noticing is it applies so smoothly and so nicely. This is what a lipstick should apply like, you know? This is what a lipstick should do. My only thing though, because the amplifieds are so creamy and intense, but soft, when putting the lipstick onto your lips, so like pressuring the tube onto your lips, this happens. Um, can you see how that already is pushed a certain way? Plus, if you look closely, you see that where I pushed it on my lips, where it's still inside of the case, it makes an indent on the actual product. And eventually over time, what happens for me is this will either break or snap or tear apart. And that's just what happens with the amplified ones, sadly. So honestly, the only thing you can do about this is don't, like I gotta push this bit more so honestly the only thing you can do about this is not like roll it up all the way it's really important to keep it as tiny and little as possible because if you apply it like this it's gonna snap and break let's continue wow. one go what Yeah, that is what the color looks like. I personally think this color is really, really pretty. It is a perfect summer, like spring, summer, late summer color. Um, it is pink, but not too pink. It has that nice coral touch to it that makes it a little bit more wearable. When something this light in tone is too pink, it it quickly becomes too stark and too much. But this is a beautiful, like soft, colorful, everyday color. I like. I like this a lot. I do think it's gonna be too light on darker skin tones though. Like complete honesty. Okay, that was the pink print. Let me take it off. I will remember you. 
Oh my God, and the truth is out. Say hi to my natural lip color. It's intense. Next up is Nikki's Nude. And this is described as a soft, curly pink. I think this shade is gonna be so bomb on darker skin tones. On me, it's gonna be, on me, it's, go, it's not gonna look like a nude. On me, it's probably gonna look like a soft colored, darker nude slash red. But on darker skin tones, this is gonna be I think beautiful. So again, let's <clears throat> tone that down a little before we break it. We only want to scroll up what we necessarily need and don't push too hard. Stop. Oh, that is a lot lighter than I expected. <laughs> So here is Nikki's nude after one layer. And to be quite honest with you, I don't think it needs a second layer. So we only need one coat with Nikki's nude and it is a lot lighter than I initially expected, but still nonetheless, I think it goes perfect with the eye look that I chose today. And again, when looking at the lipstick, it made an indent where the product is inside the case. I feel like that's what we gotta live with for Amplifieds. <laughs> I dropped it. I dropped it. I dropped it. Why me? Oh God. I'm so sorry. It deserved better. I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh, please. I don't ever want Nicki Minaj to see this video ever. <laughs> well, that's a test drop for you. <laughs> they don't survive. <laughs> and there you have it, guys. That is my first impression slash review on the new Nicki Minaj MAC lipsticks designed by Nicki Minaj, aka a tutorial on how to be a total ass and destroy a lipstick in two seconds. <laughs> so do I recommend these lipsticks? I absolutely do. I love the colors. I love the finish. I love the pigmentation. I love just how it goes on. I love the color intensity. But you gotta be careful with these because these are fragile. I think color-wise, consistency-wise, the way they apply, they are a total and absolute go. It's just personal preference if you love the colors for yourself, if you like the, the nudie, pinky, corally, peachy vibe, if you wanna go for that. I say go for that. They retail for $17.50 each. And like I said, they're part of a collection, but these are the only two designed by Nikki, plus the only two with that type of packaging. Now, you may be asking me, girl, when do these launch? <clears throat> September 21st. <laughs> yeah. yeah, Trend Mood says it. I'm like, question, when does Trend Mood sleep? I feel like Trend Mood never sleeps. She's always on it. I never get it. She's always on it. Here it says, will be available September 21st online and in select stores, but Ireland and UK, and I believe Holland as well, get it September 1st. Plus, there's a second part of this collaboration coming in 2018. So yeah, that wraps up this video. That concludes the Pink Print and Nikki's nude review slash first impressions. What do you think? Let me know in the comment section down below what you think of these colors, what you think of the finish, where you shook up by the drop. As always, if you enjoyed watching this video, then please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to hit the notification bell to get a notification every time I upload. Thank you guys so much for watching again. And I just want to take this quick moment to thank you so much. Personally, thank you so much for all the love and support you gave me on my Kim Kardashian video that went up two days ago. The love it got and like the support it got, it totally overwhelmed me. And if you follow me on Snapchat and Instagram stories, you could see that I was an emotional mess because I expected quite a lot of negativity, but there was pretty much none. And you guys love the vibe between Kim and I, and it just, it means so much. And I don't want to tear up again, but like you, and said it on Twitter too, you saved my life. And I don't know how I'll ever be able to thank you and show you my gratitude, but um, thank you. Again, thank you for, I'm gonna stop, okay. <laughs> so yeah guys, that wraps up today's video. I love you so much and hopefully I will see you on the next one, bye.